benefits of vaporization and fusion. Now let's talk about the energetics that occur during phase changes. We will do both vaporization and fusion in this video as they are really treated very similarly. In this video, we will quickly review the definitions of vaporization and fusion, and then define the heats of vaporization and the heats of fusion. Let's quickly remember what fusion and vaporization are. When molecules change state from a gas to a liquid, it's called condensing. When it changes state from a liquid to a gas, it is called vaporization or boiling. Freezing occurs when a liquid turns into a solid and melting when a solid turns into a liquid. In order to change a solid to a liquid or a liquid to a gas, the material requires energy or heat. This breaks the intermolecular forces that are holding the molecules together and allows for the change in state. Because molecules must overcome their intermolecular forces to melt or boil, it takes energy to make this happen. Therefore, boiling is endothermic, or takes in energy. Remember that this means that it is a positive delta E. The opposite is also worth noting. When condensation occurs, heat is released. Now this heat is equal in magnitude to that absorbed during the boiling, but it is opposite in sign. Here I've shown this by showing you the heat of vaporization and then the heat of condensation for water. In the same way that condensation and vaporization is opposite, so are melting and freezing. Just like in boiling, when something melts, it absorbs energy. This makes the process endothermic, with a positive delta H. We call this delta H the heat of fusion. When something freezes, it releases energy of the same magnitude, but opposite in sign. This makes the process exothermic. Now let's do an example using these heats of fusion and heats of vaporization. Here, we are going to calculate the heat released when 100 mils of water condenses at 100 degrees Celsius. The delta H of vaporization is given in the problem. We need to multiply the heat of vaporization by the number of moles. So first, we need to find the number of moles. To do this, we use the density to convert between milliliters and grams. And then we use the molar mass to convert between grams and moles. That part shouldn't feel new, new to you. And if you need to, go review the stoichiometry videos to get extra help on it. When we do this, we get 5.549 moles. We can then multiply that by the heat of vaporization. Note that we can use the units on the heat of vaporization to help us decide whether we're multiplying by moles or grams. We'll also need to make this heat negative, since this is the heat released, and that's typically denoted by using the negative sign to signify that it is an exothermic direction of the transfer. So from here, we would get an answer of negative 225.8 kilojoules. Note that if I had given you the heat of vaporization in kilojoules per gram, you could multiply by the grams instead to get the answer. Now let's do an incredibly similar example. Only this time, we are calculating the heat released when water freezes instead of when it boils. Everything is identical except for the constant. So once again, we need to find the number of moles so that we can multiply that by the heat of fusion. We'll do this exactly as we did before, first multiplying by the density and then dividing by the molar mass to get our 5.549 moles. Of course, you could have just also taken this from the last problem. Then we will multiply that by the 6.02 kilojoules per mole because this is the heat released. We will add the negative sign as well. This gives us a negative 33.4 kilojoules. It was the exact same process. We simply changed the constant that we used to solve for the answer. In review, molecules overcome intermolecular forces to melt or to vaporize. These phase changes are endothermic, requiring an input of energy. Condensation and freezing release this energy. It is equal in magnitude, though of course opposite in sign. We report these as heats of vaporization and heats of fusion, or the positive values.